Hi everyone, welcome back to Box's YouTube channel where we do unboxing, reviews and product demos on the latest tech. Today we'll be giving you a rundown of our top two TV picks for the new gen consoles, the Xbox Series X and the PS5. Now if you're thinking of these two consoles, you're probably thinking of the awesome features such as 4K resolution, 120Hz refresh rate and HDR, but all of these features mean nothing if you don't have the right TV. This is why we put together our top two picks for you, which are the LG OLED 48 CX5 LC and the Sony Bravia KD 48A9. First and foremost, both of these have 4K resolution, which means they display a whopping 8 million pixels. This is one of the key selling points on the new gen consoles, as 4K content will give you incredibly sharp and crisp visuals. This can make gaming more lifelike and realistic, therefore allowing you to become more immersed in a game. So to enjoy these benefits, you'll of course need a 4K TV. Both of these TV are OLEDs, which means they work by having self-lit pixels rather than using a backlight. This means you can enjoy sharp and precise visuals, as well as increased contrast, colour accuracy, and of course, the deep blacks that you can only get with an OLED because the pixels actually turn off to give you a true black. Because of the self-lit pixels, this also makes OLEDs better for gaming, as it gives sharper, more responsive and accurate displays. This is of course important for games such as shooters, where speed and accuracy is critical. Both of the new gen consoles support HDR, so realistically you want a TV that also supports HDR. So you can enjoy enhanced games such as Cyberpunk 2077 and Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order with enhanced contrast and colour saturation. This means graphics look more vivid and detailed. You might think HDMI 2.1 is just a media interface, surely it can't be that important. But that's actually not true at all. Your current TV most likely has a HDMI 1.4 or 2.0, as you'll only find the HDMI 2.1 on newer TV models. The HDMI 2.1 is especially important as it will allow you to run games at 4K 120 frames per second, because it has enough bandwidth to do so. The issue with HDMI 2.0 is that you can either run 4K but at a jittery 60Hz or have smoother gameplay at 240Hz but at a lower resolution of 1080p. With HDMI 1.4 this is even worse as it's 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60Hz. This means you can't enjoy the crisp visuals and smooth gameplay that the new gen consoles provide as you'll be held back by something as simple as the HDMI. So if you're looking for a TV for the new gen consoles, or even a TV to be future proofed, please make sure you're looking for TVs with HDMI 2.1. Both TVs have been designed with gamers in mind, as they each have their own gaming modes. The Sony A9 series automatically detects when a console is connected and switches to game mode, where it processes images to suit games faster frame rates to reduce lag. The LG's game mode has auto low latency and a response time of just one millisecond to give reduced blur and more clarity. It also has variable refresh rate for stutter free synchronised graphics. Both of these TVs have many similarities and both have been optimised for gaming on the new gen consoles but there are some differences which I'll quickly run through with you now. So the Sony is slightly more expensive and has a main focus of impeccable visuals as it has features such as 4K upscaling, object based super resolution, dual database processing, super bit mapping HDR and Dolby Vision support to give you the most enhanced visuals possible. It also has an unusual sound system whereby the sound comes from the actual place on the screen. It can also up-convert audio to make it even clearer. The LG, on the other hand, is more of an all-round great performing TV. Whilst it doesn't have as many cool visual features, it still has excellent colour reproduction, contrast and precision, and it's Bluetooth surround sound ready. It also has more game-based features, such as the variable refresh rate and one millisecond response time, as we mentioned, as well as an award-winning user interface, filmmaker mode to enhance viewing for movies, motion pro and eye comfort display which reduces blue light and flicker for more comfortable viewing. So when considering which TV is best for you, it's best to think about what you'll be using it for most. That concludes our rundown for our top two picks for TVs for the new gen consoles. What do you guys think of these TVs? Make sure to let us know in the comments and if you have any questions, pop them down and we'll be happy to get back to you. If you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with the latest tech reviews. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.